This is your high-powered tea. Welcome yes. to the Amsterdam Tea Room mm -hmm. in the heart of Winnipeg. But hey, this could be anywhere, right? Like, this could be Toronto. It's true. It could be New York. Uh, New York. It'd be hard to be London, you'd have to have a British accent, or at least I would have to have. I don't like it, you see, that's what it is, but it, it, you know. Wow. You, know. <laughs> you are multi talented, and like, how old are you? 22. Oh, God. 22 going on 60. Oh, well, hey. <laughs> <laughs> but welcome back. Uh, welcome back to Winnipeg. I know I'm not performing quite yet, but anxious for the new album. Um, welcome back to the foray of entertaining fans. It's been a little while, three to four years since we saw, I'm gonna say, and I hate, uh, don't, don't get me wrong, but little Francesco Yates, very cute. And you were like a wonder kind, like wow, that voice, very young. And now you're producing, you're, you're multi-instrument, uh, you play multi-instruments, probably already always have, but Tell us the journey of Francesco that's sitting in front of me here, this young man now. I, I'm a little in awe. <laughs> not, not that I didn't think otherwise, but yeah. When I was, uh, when I was doing my, my sort of, uh, when it initially kind of broke and did its thing with sugar and everything, mm -hmm. I was, uh, you know, I felt a little bit like kind of a deer in headlights, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but it, it was a lot of fun, don't get me wrong. Um, it was a lot of fun, it's just, it's, uh, I think it's hard for anyone to kind of know themselves at such an early age and given all of the flashing lights around you. Right. Um, so I think, the, I, I think I had to kind of get away from it for a little bit mm -hmm. and, and, and recenter myself and find who I really am and what I wanted to do. Right, exactly. You know, um, it's easy to get swept up in the whole madness of, of, of everything. Um, and I still can't believe sometimes some of the things I, I was, I, I didn't sleep so much uh, to the point where I, 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 uh, it, I was only getting maybe one or two hours of sleep. Okay, so. Because you, 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 you're, you know, your stuff, it doesn't, um, your internal clock, it doesn't set properly. Mm -hmm. And I was on a lot of planes, but man, some of these, some things I, I you know, are memories for me for the, the rest of my life, so. Yeah. Whatever bad it may have, I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. You know? And so now, I mean, in this industry now, you've got a new record, you've got, you know, new music on the way. How much pressure do you put on yourself? Or I know there's a, an awful lot of pressure. How do you deal with it now on whether the fans are going to like it? Not even the fans, whether the music, you know, the agents are going to like it. And is it going to sell? Because now it is a business, you're learning about it. Um, how do you deal with that? Or is it just you have that confidence now? Well, I always find that interesting. I think for me, um, because I have, I, I've, I tried to get so good at, you know, working my keyboard and working the laptop and stuff mm -hmm. like that, I think now um, the power is more in, 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 in my hands. And not even just the power, but the creative direction. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to learn a little, uh, a little bit about um, how to produce myself and how to write songs by myself uh, to the point where I could be kind of self-sufficient right. um, uh, so that when I did collaborate with another artist or another writer or producer, I could offer something a little more um, and, 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 and bring something to the table so I didn't feel so lost or, you know what I mean? And that takes a lot of courage, does it not, to sort of say, you know, I, you know, I want to sit down and, and figure this out on my own, or I, no, I'm going to write this song on my own. Oh, well, after coming off of, uh, after coming off of Sugar, yeah. um, the, the pressure is always high, but I always figure, um, at least this way, I'm in control of my own destiny. Yeah. At least this way I can navigate and have a better understanding of uh, what it is I'm doing. Was there any particular moment, Francesco, where it dawned on you, or maybe it always was in the back of your mind, that you wanted to be your own soul, your own, your own thing? Or was it somebody that said, hey, or... I think I had to learn. You learned? I was lucky, you yeah. know. I was lucky to be in the room with people like Pharrell Williams and, and, yeah. and JT and stuff like that. So I, I, I made sure I paid attention to as much of it as I could mm -hmm. and soaked up as much information for, as possible that I could. Um, 
And I'm grateful for those experiences because it, it, it's helped me a lot in getting a clear perspective that my Virgo self overthinker can occasionally lack, you know? Oh, so uh, you're talking to a Virgo. Yeah, so I'm go. overthinking now. Yeah. Okay, what? Uh, no. Okay, because you dropped the name JT, and you know, big news is that you've opened for him. Um, he's come a long way since his boy band, of course. But if, I want to talk uh, like now about your music, the new album. Um, I love Do You Think About Me? I mean, Shades of Bruno Mars, but I. Uh, oh, thank you. The musicians behind you. And I'm kind of one, too, that, you know, you are the spotlight, but the musicians that you surround yourself with, because they are part and parcel of the music that you create, do you choose them? Does the studio choose them? As far as the musicians <clears throat> that, are, uh, that are in my current band now, mm -hmm. I learn from them all the time, too. Yeah. You know. Um, well, they're, a lot, they're a lot older than you, too. <laughs> yeah, and they, you know, they teach me all sorts of stuff, too. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, it's it's uh, it's really cool. There's a, you know even on the live show, it's also a collaboration too. Yeah, and uh, so this new album, what can we expect? Obviously, a different side of, of you, but um, life stories. A lot more personal experience, and um, I think I've grown up a little bit too. And uh, just, I think even in some things, um, in some ways, more uh, more reflective sort of lyrics even. Yeah. Just detailing where of uh, what's what's happened in that time, in that, that two year sort of grace period where I took off. That that's really the what the what the album's kind of heading towards. Did what, you travel in that period or you know what I did a, I did a lot of you? like I did a lot of traveling mm -hmm. um, and, and as far as going and, and, and having living in LA, coming back, what that was like. Wow. You know, all the, you know, and, and having been in uh, two relationships, you know, what that was like, and just detailing all of that, you know, and finding a way to pull from that yeah. to make the music better. So personal life, too, like balancing that mm -hmm. now. I mean, you are in the spotlight and people want you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you deal with it or, you know, how do you deal with all of that? How do you stay real, I guess, is the whole question. I think because I think because I always have my guitar or my piano, I think like the music... <laughs> except not now. <laughs> no. Except for not now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the music kind of grounds me. I know that no matter what, I have an anchor, you know what yeah. I mean? Um, and it's always, kept, it's always kind of been that way for me. Mm -hmm. um, also, I think, uh, you know, I have a good family too. Uh, wow. I value the family, my, you know, more than anything. Where's you know, home my, for you? Uh, still in Toronto. I still live in Toronto. Um, and you know, my parents were always supportive of me yeah. doing it. Yeah. Um, and, and friends, I, I, friends. Friends as well too. Well, it's it's good to me. You know, it's more important to me even sometimes to maintain the relationships with those people than anything even music related. Mm -hmm. um, and the family is first. Yeah. So, you're a young guy, but I mean, everything that's come to light in this crazy world we live in, and the music industry, what, where do you see yourself, Francesco, and say the next five years, and what do you want to accomplish? You know, not, not only as an artist, but as Francesco Yates, as a person. I want to maintain my, my dignity as a, as a human being. I think that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. um, and to make an impact on the world uh, through my music. Uh, music gives me a sort of clear purpose, you know. Yep. A noble cause that's kind of more than myself, you know what I mean? So. Um, what causes are dear to your heart? Like what, you know, messages do you think that you really want to get out? You know, just in this very, you know, in this heavy political climate that we find ourselves now, um, the fact that we, we need each other now probably more than ever. Um, and uh, I think that's what's cool about music, is that it can do that for people in all walks of life. Well, through this all, there must be people that have influenced you. So who would they be, both musically and in life? Again, I say my parents are, yeah. you know, I, th I, 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 uh, I credit them with most of, most of it. I'm pretty sure without them, Supporting me because you know I, I I was lucky that I had that support a lot of a lot of uh, kids who started music don't have it 
Um, so I'm very grateful for that. A lot of role models in my life of, of who to be, um, I, I have, you know. Yeah. I have a clear sort of, you know, they gave me a, a clearer picture on things. Oh, awesome. So, future looks bright for you. You think? Yeah. Think. No, yeah. And uh, hopefully, yeah, we'll see you back with your new album and performing hopefully in our stadium. It'd be nice. We need a big summer concert. Also, go Jets go. I know as it's being taped, I know. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, put, uh, I'll put my uh, my magic powers, I guess, into it. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Well, you could always come back here and sing O Canada, the anthem, right? Eh, if we get into the final series. Of course. I think so. Yeah. All right. You just let me know. Okay. Well, try your tea. <laughs> Courtesy of the Amsterdam Tea Room. Cheers. Oh. New album. Bright oh, future. Uh, of course, I, this is what happens with me. Oh, uh, yeah. Of yeah. I Stick do to it. the music. Stick to the guitar and keyboards, Francesco. We'll worry about the tea. It is what it is. There you go. Cheers. <laughs> You're not even going to pick I, it I don't up. even want to touch it because I don't know. Yeah. Oh, right on. Cheers. Oh, it's not as hot as it was. It's not nice.